What's up, y'all? So it was really hard to get an angle <laughs> for y'all, but I tried. I'll go in when I finish. Gloves. Put my gloves on. So, I'm Good morning. I am setting up a dialysis, dialysis machine for y'all. So, start with your arterial. Uh, your blood pressure pop. You gotta give it a little force. Take it out. Look, the clear end, I hope y'all can see that. The clear end of your lines on there first. So basically it's like from left to right. Then you wanna hook your lines up to your dialyzer. Alright. Then as you go along, you're gonna be clamping things. You're gonna be clamping. Every clamp is set the saline clamp. Um this is the way that I put in the bucket because I'm tall. I don't feel like doing it the other way. I don't like doing it the other way. And you're gonna be taking off all these little tabs. And as I saw, showed you in the other video, here's your um, like sharp needle part for your saline line. And so right now it's going through. You can see that. And it's going into my bucket. Now I put my saline line behind so I can see what I'm doing. Next, I'm gonna do my venous chamber. And remember, you want to clamp as you go. That way you don't forget and need something open. Now I'm gonna connect my venous chamber to my my venous uh, line to my dialogue. Then I'm gonna put this. Oh, and the big clamps. You don't clamp all little clamps except the saving line, and you leave the big clamps open until they have primed. So, for instance, like my arterial has primed, so I'm gonna clamp it. Boom. And I'm gonna fill it my arterial chamber. I like my sound effects. <laughs> then I'm gonna put my blood pump at 150 and start and then cry. So now it is priming my uh venous chamber. So I'm gonna get closer so y'all can see what's going on here. But see, this is a T line. This is your arterial chamber. I use this tail to fill it up. You just unclamp it here and then unscrew a little bit right here. This is your blood pump clear end when you start off the clear end goes in first and then you loop it around using your start here uh button to you to get your pump moving and then you finish it out there and then okay you see why i wear gloves you see that so i'm gonna have to clean that but this is your venous chamber and see your dialyzer is filling with water. It hasn't hit the bucket yet. Cause look, you see that water? Shoot. Boom. That is going down. Then it's gonna go up here. I'm gonna see it in a second. Oh no, not gonna go up. It's gonna go out. See that? So another indicator when you're priming. 
if you look up and your saline bag is not draining, then you are not priming, okay? So I hope this video was a little bit better. Um, I can break it down real quick. But my dialyzer is clean because I just opened it out of the pack. But here, you see at the bottom of my dialyzer, well, this is actually the top, but this is the way I start. I do it with the bottom facing down. This is the way the most people start, or the way you trained to do it with the bottom down. But you wanna make sure these are screwed in good and tight because these, these little tiny little fibers on the inside are getting wet. So, and it's still, oh, so it's done. My prime button is off. It's done, but I'm not gonna touch this machine because I see this 30. But that is it for, um, for that. What's up? What's up, y'all? Good morning. So I just did a, um, a quick recap, review, maybe a better version of um, how to string your machine um i hope that this helps you guys if you have any questions i can do it again i i'm trying to get the best angle possible it was very difficult um <laughs> it was very difficult like literally i was like stacking boxes trying to get the best thing possible so yeah let me know if you guys need more of that um or a better view a different angle or whatever and i will redo that but let me finish opening. Um, talk to y'all later. Bye.